Good morning. How is everybody today? I am lovely. The sun finally came out. The power came back on. We all survived. Nobody died. The kids thought they might if they had to go to bed when it was dark and it was dark upstairs. They thought the boogie monster was coming. But he didn't come, did he? Everybody's still alive. Abby said, unfortunately, she wanted the boogie monster to come and hang out in her room. Um, she has the... She has the two black cats that hang out in her room, so it's pretty close to the boogie monster. I don't know. Trudy. Oh, Trudy is the boogie monster. She is. Abby is right. So last week, what did we learn? What was our point? Lucy? God made what? did we learn about? Danny? Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Go ahead and get a prize. So last week we learned that God made everything. And everything was perfect, right? And God made man for what? I need an adult to answer this one. What did, you're not an adult. Good try. What did God make man for? Companionship. Companionship. A friend. He wanted us to be his friend. So last week we learned that God made everything and God made man to be his friend. And then what did we learn? God made Eve. And then what else? What happened after God made Adam and Eve? They chose to disobey. Disobey. Mr. Scott, you can get a prize. Lucy, you already have a prize. You don't get another one. What if I give it to Liam? Nope. God Adam and Eve chose to disobey. So as we go through the rest of the story, we're going to be learning that God is doing everything to help man get back to him. Because when man disobeyed God, it broke our relationship with God, right? We couldn't be with his, we couldn't be his friend because we disobeyed, right? And in Romans, we learned that by one man, sin entered the world, right? And then by one man, who's that one man? Jesus. Jesus. By one man, Jesus, sin is taken care of. So the whole rest of the story that we're learning is going to be about how God is helping man get back to being his friend. Abby, when you're ready, you can get yourself a prize. Today, we get to learn that we can trust God even when it doesn't make sense. I have a project. Mr. Scott, can you come up here and stand over here by over here? Liam, can you come up here and look at Mr. Scott? Stand over here. Look at him. Do you trust Mr. Scott? Do you? Are you sure? Okay. So I need you to turn around. Stand right here in the circle. Turn around. Put your arms across like this. Do this. Oh, nope, like this. Like you're hugging yourself. Now, are you sure you trust Mr. Scott? No, you're not sure? <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Do you think he'll catch you if you, if you fall back on him? Do you think he'll catch you? All right. So uh, we're going to count to three, and Liam's going to show us how well he trusts Mr. Scott. Ready? One, two, three. Go ahead. <gasps> Good job. You have to stay stiff. You can't bend your knees. Ready? Try again. Good job! Now, Liam, if you stand up here, can you stand up here? Come on. Do you think Mr. Scott will catch you from here and not let you fall on your head? Okay, you have to stay stiff. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, wow, you are very brave! Look at that. You may get a prize out of our prize box. It is scary to trust somebody to catch us when we don't know if they're going to, isn't it? How many of us have um, had to trust somebody to
was exposed. Most important part from like, this is our most important part, right? When we keep our closed up, it helps to protect us. But Jesus trusted God enough that he put out his arms. He also believed that God would raise him from the dead. He trusted his heavenly father with his very life. Now, are there times that you haven't trusted God completely? Can you tell me? Have you trusted God completely all of the time and everything in your life? No. Sometimes we worry. We're like, at the Johnson house, I can tell us that we worried when we moved here. Are we going to have friends? Are we going to like the people that we're moving to? What's it going to be like? What's our house? Are we going to have enough? Are we? We worried about that. How about our, our adults? Are there times when you don't know what's going to come next and that you worry about it? Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's um, somebody that we love very much has died and we don't know what to do next. Maybe something horrible has happened. But the Bible says by believing you receive God's approval and declaring that your and by declaring your faith you are saved. Romans 10:10. 10. Miss Gloria, would you open to Romans 10:10 10 and read that to us? Oh, I don't have. Do you? I don't have my Bible written on my phone or anything. Dar's got one. Ooh, I don't know if Miss Gloria can see those. <laughs> I can't read those. <laughs> oh, would you read that for us, please? Now I have King James. That's perfect. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So that says what we read, right? In your heart, we believe for righteousness, right? And with our mouth, we say that God saved us. It's sanitizer, I think, Gloria. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Abby, would you play the video for us for today? Every week we'll get better and better as we right. figure this out and get I it all sorted. Should say week two. So we're going to talk about Abraham. Who was Abraham? Adult. Can somebody in the adult world tell me? Who was Abraham? Father Abraham, he was what? Father Abraham, Isaac's father. Isaac's father. What did God ask Abraham to do at the beginning of the story in the Bible? Nope, before that. Leave his country. Leave his country. What was the name of the land where he eventually stopped to make his new home? Does anybody know? Put your hand down. We talked about this this week in social studies. Danny? Israel. Close. Canaan. Canaan. Why was it hard to believe that Abraham and Sarah were going to have a baby? Not you. Because she was oh. old. What did they name their son when he was born? Isaac. Shh. <laughs> what did they name his son, their son when he was born? Isaac. Isaac. And what does Isaac mean? It means to laugh. Because when the angels told Abraham that Sarah was going to have a baby, she laughed. And when Isaac grew up, what were his son's names? They got into a fight. Wow. One was called the, con the deceiver. And he became the nation of, they changed his name to Israel. Jacob and Esau. Do you have that video? Almost. Sorry. That's okay. Close. Cain and Abel were the first set of twins. This is the second. I can't imagine. 
twins. Lots of twins. There are lots of twins in the Bible stories, aren't there? Like, I appreciate you guys being patient. We'll figure it out, I promise. So this week, we're on week two in your adult book. Look through your adult book and look at week two. Go ahead and do the, um, in the adult book, the bold headings are a day. So every time you come to a bold heading, that's a day. Um, it tells you what part of to read. It tells you what you're talking about, what answers you need. Um, in the kids, in the family binder, it says day one and tells you what to do in day one and day two and tells you what to do. Um, and we'll keep learning and growing together. So our Bible point today is that what? We can trust God. What can we do? Trust God. What can we do? Trust God. Our verse is Psalm 910. Those who know your name trust you, O Lord, because you have never deserted those who seek your help. So our verse is Psalm 910. And what's our point? Trust God. Trust God. All right, we're going to pray, and we'll have our, 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 mm. our video. We'll get our video. I hear it. Hold up. Hold she said it's loading. <laughs> we'll make sure that next week we have this all sorted out. Thank you guys for being patient. We knew there would be bumps in the first couple of weeks. Last week was week one, and then you do week one through this week. Or like last week, you would have done week one through the week, and then week two starts today, and do week two through next week. And then um, th this is supposed to be your introduction to the week, and then we'll, um, yeah. Okay, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this great day, and that we get to learn that we can trust you. God, help us to remember that we're part of your big story. That, God, you have a path, plan and a path for each of us. And God, we pray that you will be with us as we go through this week. Father, help us to remember to trust you on the hard days and on the easy days, in the fun times and in the scary times. God, that we can trust you, even if it doesn't make any sense, we can trust you. God, we thank you for everything you're doing, and we love you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Johnson, you may go home.